over, the world will not forget the name Rosa Parks. I boarded the bus in downtown Montgomery, Alabama, December 1st, 1955, Thursday, late afternoon. I took a seat in the colored section of the bus, four rows behind the driver, the first four rows, of course, reserved for white folk. As we headed out of downtown, the white passengers began to fill the front section of the bus. One white man was left standing. The colored section around me was filled. All right, now, you four. You four, go ahead, get on up. The young colored woman sitting next to me and the two, gem two colored gentlemen across the aisle did as they were told, got to their feet, and began to stand at the already crowded back of the bus. All right, now, you. You still sitting there? I said, get up. I'm not in the white section. You know the rules now. The white section is filled. That's so why I need you to vacate that seat so this man could sit. There are three perfectly good seats available to him. <clears throat> I've seen you on this bus before. You know good and well that the whites and colors can't share a row. Now, I have the right to make room for other passengers. The white section is full. And so I say, you need to get up and go on to the back. You all going to make it hard on yourself or you all going to move? I'm not moving. I paid my fare. I'm in the colored section. I'm not moving. Then you know what needs to be done. I'll call the police. You may do as you must. I had been pushed to the point where I was tired of being pushed. Mayor West, do you feel that it's wrong to discriminate against a person solely on the basis of their race or color? She'd asked me this soul-searching question, this child. It was asked of me as a man, and I decided to answer, frankly, honestly. And in my soul, I knew it was not right. It was not moral to sell someone goods and in the same breath refuse them service. And I had to answer it. Just exactly that way. Did I expect criticism? Yes. And still, I wouldn't regret my answer that day. It was a moral question, one that a man had to answer, not a politician. 